Hello, it's Helder here, and today I'm coming to you from beautiful Portugal, actually from a family home, a family home that's been in my family for nearly 300 years. As I was looking around the home, I came across a couple tools that my grandparents used to utilize, and most likely their parents utilized, in order to tend to everyday needs. And this is the tool that my dad explained to me that his father and his mother used to utilize back in the day just to go ahead and trim the weeds in the backyards. So this is something that I wanted to display on the wall sometime in the near future. So it got me thinking, before this tool fully gets retired and becomes a wall hanger, I'd like to give it one last go with the Wicked Edge Sharpener, seeing if I could put an edge on there and if it could handle some of the weeds that I have here in the backyard. Once again, I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want to destroy this, but I do want to try and carry on this tradition a little bit longer. And before I retire it, say that, you know what? I actually got to utilize that tool myself. Now, I don't want to take this tool apart. So what I'm doing is a couple of old barrels. I put them together, one to secure my Wicked Edge Sharpener and the other one to basically rest this handle on and uh, hopefully keep it from moving during the sharpening process. This tool is definitely in some rough shape. There is no edge at all. It's a curved blade. The metal is much thicker on certain angles than it is on the other. The stones that I'll be utilizing are 100 grit stone, 200, 400, 600, and then making my way up to the 800 and 1000. From here, I'm going to go ahead and find the correct angle. From there, begin the sharpening process. If you want to know more about finding the angle, go ahead and check out the video that's in the description, as well as pinned in the comments below. This is certainly the most time consuming blade that I've ever sharpened. So I've been at it for about 20 minutes, I'm actually getting a little hot here, especially with the work and the sun decided to show up. But I am getting a resemblance of an edge here. A lot of uh, imperfection, so to speak, but it does look promising. I'm still utilizing the 100 grit stone and I think I will be working that for a little bit longer. So let's keep going. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes with the 100 grit. And once again, I'm going very slow, very cautiously, safety first, and at the same time, trying to cause the least amount of damage to this uh, fragile old blade. But right now I seem to have a pretty good bevel on it, uh, about as much as I could hope for. And I want to go ahead and switch over to the 200 grit stone. All right, let's switch over to the 400 grit slowly and carefully is the recipe of the day. All right, feeling pretty smooth there. Definitely have an edge, feeling some sharpness, which is a great sign. Still some things in there, but once again, I don't want to work off too much metal. So I'll go ahead now and switch over to the 600 grit stones. Okay, there's definitely a working edge on there. I'm gonna go ahead and give some passes with the 800 and then finish up with the 1000. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much finished up here. 
So unfortunately, I did do a lot of uh, landscaping when I did initially get here using power tools, of course. And anyway, these green shoots that are growing here is what my dad explained to me that grandpa and grandma would utilize this tool for. Once again, there were a heck of a lot more of these back in the day uh, before the home was restored. Let's give it a try. Once again, this uh, handle or pole has seen better days, so you need to try to be careful. Oof, well, that seemed to work. Pretty cool. About, uh, we have an apple tree here. Let's see if it'll uh, cut this little green branch off of it. So there we go. So I want to thank you for coming along on this little uh, mini adventure where I get to share a bit of my family heritage with you. And uh, bottom line, if you want to restore old tools, and as you can tell, pretty much from any condition, definitely take a look at these Wicked Edge systems. They've not only facilitated my everyday life back in the United States, but it has also allowed me to have the privilege to carry on, however minuscule, a bit of the family tradition that has been here for hundreds of years.